how to round the corners of shapes in Affinity Designer. Well, what you can do, you've got options here. When you've got the shape selected, as well as using the cog tool, you need to have the tool that created the design selected. And you see along here, the control bar, you've got curvature option. Not every shape has got this feature. So if you go to another one, it will not be there. So click curvature, and then you can modify that. And it goes within limits to a certain limit, 100%. You can't push it any further, but you can round it just slightly. You can also change it here. So interactive, you can modify it. You can also change these settings as well. You can modify those. So you can create a variety of different, just by moving that, the two size. You can see you've got a nice rounded design there as well. So a variety of different options available along here. You can still modify the number of T's. Now, obviously, if you increase that, but if you decrease it, you can see you've got that lovely rounded design rounded corners. Now, not all of them are rounded. And of course, you can just change that as well. And that can all be changed here as well. What you can also do, let's just remove that. You've got another option. So let's just create it again. The contour tool. So contour tool, you can go backwards before it's still live. I haven't converted it into nodes or anything. You've got the contour tool. So select there, contour tool. And with that, You've got some more options along here along the control bar. You've got the radius, so you can modify it here. You can also interactively do it. Personally, I prefer to use that. So you just increase that or decrease that. And it goes within certain bounds, minus 4.2 or 4.2, obviously depending on the units used. But let's just go for this one, contour type. I'm just going for the first, it's a key thing. And also you've got additional fills, but interactive, you can modify it. So you can see as you do that, you can round the design again. At any point, if you decide, you know what, I want to change the cog or the whatever shape it is, simply just go back here to the shapes and just go down to the cog tool. With that selected, you can see then number of teeth. You can turn around and say, well, I want eight. And I want to change some of these other settings, maybe whole radius. You can change those as well. It's still live. And you can go here again, back to the contour tool, select that. You can bounce backwards and forwards between them. And again, still modify this design. Again, creating a rounded design. You might think, okay, I've reached my limit. I've changed everything I've got. I want this design to be fixed. What you need to do, just go here, bake appearance. So click bake appearance. And now you've got these nodes, which you can then modify. So you can tweak those nodes using the various tools here. And this one is pretty good one, corner tool. I'm just gonna use the corner tool with the actual designer sex. I'm just gonna remove that again. Again, I could use any of the other shapes, but I'm using the cog tool. So with this selected, what I can do any point, I can always, once I've fixed everything, convert to curves. And again, that will make it nodes. Also, you can right click, and you've got an option here, convert to curves, which again will put it into nodes, which can be manipulated. So convert to curves, you can't change the various notches now, all the various settings. But what you can do, still as before, use the contour tool. So if you want to, you can use that, increase that or decrease, or just go here, select the corner tool. This is another tool just beneath the contour, and then select all of the nodes. So all are selected, and you can see then you've got different corner types. Now I'm just gonna go for this one, rounded. So click there, so select, and then what you can do, you can just change that, tweak this, and as you do it, you'll notice the result. Not particularly much in some cases. You can interactively change it. Personally, I prefer the interactive. When I change it at the radius setting, sometimes the result's not particularly instant or particularly that useful. So once a day, it will reach a certain point where it just will not round anymore. It's, that's it. But again, you'll notice you've got bake appearance. So you could, at this point, turn around and say, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to change anything anymore, but I'm just going to bake it. And now, if you want, you can again go here to the contour tool, select that, and use the contour tool, and again, round it that way, or again, use this. Well, once you've done that, there you've got your rounded design. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.